Hi cats and kittens, it's Amy from Savor Savage Scent. Really glad that you're here with me today. For those of you who are new to the channel, this mostly focuses on all things fragrance related with an occasional other creative home reno art project. So for those of you returning, you are my heart. Thanks for being here. Thanks for being in conversation. I always encourage if you have any thoughts, ideas, questions, we can learn together, experience together, please leave comments below. And if you haven't yet, I hope that you'll click the red subscribe button so that we can stay in touch and I can stay connected with you. So today's theme is about protection. <laughs> so I know that people approach wearing fragrance for many different reasons. Some people I know who are avidly like into perfume still might only wear it kind of like a basic accessory in that it's no different than putting on a pair of socks or you know, putting on a scarf and it is an accessory and it's something that might um, make you feel nice or smell good and it. It's as simple as that. For some of us, and I get that it's not this way for everybody, some of our, uh, our moods are very affected by the perfumes or scents that we wear. And I'll be honest, this time of year for me, and I think for a lot of people who live in the Midwest like I do or in a climate that changes incredibly, um, I love all seasons. However, um, the winters hang on for a long time where I live and I get a bit of both the doldrums and anxiety, I would say from mid-January through mid-March typically. You know, it's probably because the excitement for me, the excitement of the holidays has passed. It's uh, very dark where I live. I'm awaiting spring. I typically travel somewhere overseas or somewhere that I'm excited about in March. So this is the time where I need a little help. And I also will be frank, while I really love the work that I do, this is um, typically a very stressful time of year. And then we all, you know, probably have been faced with challenges for different reasons. Gosh, since the beginning of the pandemic. And then, you know, we all probably have our own um blessings or things that we look forward to, um, perks and challenges, right? So I've been thinking a lot about protection, ways that I can, you know, provide a little uplift now. So I'm going to talk to you about, I believe I have around 25 cents here that I just quickly scanned my collection and thought, and, and this is real for me, what are the scents that I wear when I need to feel protected? Um, there are different types of protection here, and I'm gonna I'm gonna give you a few examples of each. But otherwise, I'm gonna work through these scents pretty quickly. I want this to be also a refreshing and comforting video. Um, the first thing I thought about when I thought about protection was the scent I probably go to most often, and these scents to me create almost what I would call a force field. <laughs> and to me, it's because they're bombastic. Now, again, this is a talk about a really relative or subjective uh, topic. You know, again, so there are some things that say there are some elements in some of these perfumes that are kind of in the aromatherapy world known to be um, scents that are notes that give you a, a feeling of protection or a feeling of refreshment or comfort. Um, but again, some of these are very much based on like childhood memory or my experience. So I by no means think that these will be protective for everyone, but I just thought it would be a fun theme to share with you because it's really on my mind today. So I go first to Chanel number five. You know, again, for some folks, I know this is a polarizing scent. For me, I absolutely adore it. It, it can feel very old school in some ways. I love that about it. It is this super bombastic, aldehydic, soapy floral but man, do I love this thing. And there's something about it where, and maybe it's what polarizes people. <sighs> I have this mindset sometimes when I spray it of like, yeah, this is about me today. It's about me feeling good. And honestly, if it, this is terrible to say, but it's kind of how I feel. If it kind of keeps a few people at a distance, that's not a problem today. So number five, love it for that reason. It just makes me feel like, Oh, like I have this protective force field around me. Um, on, on the the tip of like florals that are bombastic and make you feel like you're protected, um, rose is reputed to be one of those notes that kind of has a feeling of protection. And 
I have that feeling when I wear Guerlain's Nahima. This is an old school scent. However, I still think it's uh, so beautiful, classic, gorgeous, and modern in some ways. It is rose with the stem, with the leaf, and a bit of spice um, and a bit of incense. And it's just, I just again feel this. This to me, I feel both, both like a forest field and I feel comfort. It is just so, so gorgeous. And it absolutely, I think says, here I am and this is me and it, it's not gonna change. <laughs> so, Nehema by Guerlain. Um, a cheapie, so to speak, from Bath and Body Works, but one I've grown to love, speaking of rose, is this is called You're the One. Um, typically for their annual sales are two a year in the winter and summer, I buy a few cents. And typically the reason I buy them is so I can kind of like drown myself in one and then top it with something else. However, this is one that to me is as strong as a perfume and has its own wonderful quality. So this to me is strawberry and rose. Mm. I have this reaction of mm, when I spray it and I'll tell you what, every time I wear this, every single time, a young person, I've just noticed, I don't know what that's about, but it always says to me, please tell me what you're wearing. You smell so good. And it just makes me feel wonderful. It makes me feel, it's pleasant, but it also to me does have like a strong soapy smell that makes me feel weirdly like comforted or it must play on my scent memory, the soapiness. I don't know. So those are three that are to me almost bombastic, floral, strong, force field perfumes. Next, I'm going to talk about ones that I find to be more kind of comforting. They either have herbs in them that are comforting, they have a spa feel, or they have a memory connected. This is a, um, I actually, I should start with the two that, you know, basically started my life. These were my parents who, this is a tough one. This is the last, last bottle of my dad's Old Spice. Um, I either will walk by this and smell it or sometimes for like special occasions, I'll even put it on. And this is to me why I think I have such a love of Carnation. It smells like Carnation soap, but it absolutely smells like my dad when he was clean. Um, my dad was an incredible guy, tough, but yet could be very incredibly loving and a softy too, was an educator, was a radical, frankly, for his age. Um, very artistic, was a, a shop teacher and an artist. And he often smelled like the shop or the stuff he was working on, but at night he always took a bath or shower before bed. And as, as tough as he could be, it was kind of a rule. It was like, we always had a hug before bed and he always smelled good like Old Spice. So I just think that this is part of the reason I love Carnation so much. So, and it makes me feel totally comforted like my, my pops. On the same note, oh, I thought I grabbed my mom's last bottle. This is actually another, this is Halston. Um, this was her signature scent for, I don't know, 30 years. And it is oak moss, uh, herbs, um, aldehydic, and it smells to me kind of hippie-ish, but very, I would say, unisex compared to a lot of scents today. I just adore this thing, um, and it smells absolutely like my mom. So Halston is comforting. Uh, another one that's comforting to me, and I think it's because it's got that carnation thing that smells like my dad, is this is Aja by Fendi. This is no longer made. It's one of my favorite bottles. It is so gorgeous, and it is carnation floral balm. Reminds me a lot of D&G or Dolce & Gabbana's Red Cap. Um, gorgeous thing. Uh, worth searching for if you like carnation, and I actually think this is absolutely unisex. Just because something's a floral doesn't mean that um, men can't wear it. And just because something's herbal doesn't mean a woman can't wear it or whatever you like. And this to me, I think could be great for anybody who likes carnation, um, but also some aromatics too. It feels like a hug to me, it's very comforting. A couple modern scents that I think are super comforting. This is Solstice Scents, my favorite indie house. This is called Lace Draped. I always um, can get this confused. Spectre. This is uh, one of my top three carnation scents. It is a gourmand carnation, carnation. Sorry, it feels like a hug. Makes me feel super comforted, protected, and it's got that carnation element that reminds me of my dad or my childhood. So yeah, 
Solstice Scents Lace Draped Sep Spectre. Whoo, say that five times fast. This is one I've talked a lot about this year. This is um, Moroccan Oils Broom Day Moroc. It is basically the uh, body spray version of Moroccan Oil. It is inexpensive. I got it on sale for the 30 somewhere. Um, I have worn this so much, you can see it's half gone within a year. And it just smells like a a spa scent, but not just citrus or herbal like a lot of them are. It has a lot of amber and almost a vanilla feel to me. It is, again, feels like a hug and I absolutely love it. It's so beautiful. And then I would say this is my reigning, one of my reigning top two or three favorites since, I don't know, three years now. This is, this is my, I think, third bottle I've worn. This is a Desert Floor by Bohemian Rev, um, a scent that is presently sold in Anthropology, but they have their own website as well. It is my patchouli. It is a very vanillic patchouli that um, I think it's to the due to the nature of the vanilla, it has a bit of a boozy feel too, and it just feels comforting. It, it leaves an incredible scent trail. So not only do I feel good and comforted and protected in it, but it is one of those where people just be like, oh, I just want to follow you around, or you have this vibe, or like I've had just people be like, oh gosh, you just smell wonderful. I want to hug you, that kind of thing. So Desert Floor by Bohemian Rev, very comforting. So now I'm going to get into a, a large section of scents that I think are um, protective in the way that they have some herbal elements that um, in aromatherapy are known to be kind of protective, or they kind of hit my, I would call, reset button. They make me feel like life has new opportunities, that there's a, a clean slate. It ups lift, They uplift my mind. How could I not talk about 4711, one of the first, if not the first, colognes? Um, this is an aromatic concoction, but to me, it is as much about neroli and the components of orange blossom that it is about all the other aromatics. But it does have things that are known to be or reputed to be protective. So it has things like rosemary and I think it has sage, if not definitely rosemary, a lot of aromatics. And there's, I think there's something about citrus and neroli that just, again, hits my reset button. And I also think it's a scent memory thing for me, too, because we had mock orange growing around our house when I was growing up. So orange flower just smells like the best part of a sunny day in childhood. So 4711, one of the oldest and one of my favorites and one that I have seen, I splash all over myself, use as clone. But it's been interesting, both people in my life who are of European descent um, and of Latin descent, um, I know use this almost like a tonic where they'll put it on a rag, wear it on themselves or even children to kind of cool down. So 4711, I think has incredible kind of re reset qualities. Along those lines, another favorite, this is considered a clone, but it's really almost like a splash. Doesn't last a long time, a couple hours, but totally adore it and worth reapplying. This is uh, Eau de Masson by Clarins, and it's got some similarities to 4711. This has a bit more of like, to me, a grapefruity or a citrus feel. Very, very aromatic, and, and it actually, it almost smells, it's lemony. And this to me, it's a, a lot of people use it like a deodorant even, but I think it's great for a reset. I also love to wear it before I go or after I work out. It's just gorgeous. Or a super like 100 degree day. This is amazing. It makes you feel terrific, clean, etc. This is a cheapie. I'm not sure if it's made anymore. It's by Good Chemistry, a company that sells perfumes in Target, etc. This is a body spray, and to me this has a cologne um, depth. It's called Mineral Desert. And to me, take one of these aromatics that has, you know, a fair amount of mm, citrus, but then add things like a desert smell, like sage. It has a little incense. I think most people would think that this is a male leaning perfume or scent. I just think it smells like my ego and my um, soul got a reset. <laughs> That's how good this thing is. I think I paid like $5 for this at TJ Maxx a few years ago. Anyways, if they still make it worth searching out, it is incredible. So good chemistry, mineral, desert, body spray. Gosh, I love this thing. So good. Um, 
A couple other cheapies that I think are incredible. I'm not sure if this one's made anymore, but again, I bet you can find it on um, the auction sites. This is Sugar Zest, and this is made by Pink for Victoria's Secret. Um, I usually, when it comes to body sprays, prefer um, Bath and Body Works, but... Oh, hi! I just sprayed that toward my face, not away from. Um... This smells so much like candied grapefruit peel, and I actually used to make that as a holiday gift for people. This smells like uh, candied grapefruit peel and a ginger ale had a baby. It smells incredible. It's a little more sugary and sweet that some of these, you know, these aromatic or uplifting scents I'm talking about, but it is so good, so good for the price. Lasts for an hour or two, but that's what I expect from body spray. Love this thing. I also have the cream, which helps make it last longer. Love it. Um, and another more inexpensive, this is one that I don't think people loved from Body Bath & Body Works, but I sure did. This is Marigold and Cane Sugar. And it smells exactly as it says. So I'm an avid gardener. I love gardening. Uh, I mean, I also know it to be incredibly hard work, but there's something about reset that, you know, there's something about gardening that resets my life, getting your hands on the soil, um, smelling the aromatics of the garden around you. And I happen to be one of those people that loves the smell of marigold. It has a slightly bitter floral smell. Um, I love it. It just reminds me of the end of summer, beginning of fall. And, but yet this has a bit of a sugary quality. So it's not just the bitter, it's marigold and cane sugar. Oh, I love this thing. I absolutely, and sometimes I'll spray it on my sheets. Absolutely love it. So this one to me reminds me of the garden, makes me feel like, yeah, I'm resetting my life by being outside and putting my hands in the dirt. This is relatively new to me, although I tried it for a year or so, the sample, and then I finally got my hands on a bottle recently. This is La Romatica's um, Nine Dragons. This is the most lemony green tea scent, but here's what's really special to me about it. It's, it would be perfect if it were just a lemony green tea scent, and she does it in such a way, it's just gorgeous. But the surprise is, then it dries down and it gets incense-y, and for an incense lover, and a tea lover and a citrus lover, I'm telling you what, this thing, it is literally about chi energy and it is, it just makes me feel bright, like reset. And then when it dries down to that incense phase, it then gives me a hug. This thing is so good, so good. Can't talk about these aromatics and protection without thinking about Jo Malone's Wood Sage and Sea Salt. This is something I wore a lot when it first came out years and years ago. And my sister, I think her husband might've even worn it. Um, perfectly unisex and sage is a lot of us know um, considered by certain cultures to be uh, a protective element some people burn sage uh, I grow a ton of it I think the woody feel reminds me of my dad's wood shop too so between the sage and the woodiness it just smells so good a little more dry and um, yeah like a reset it's beautiful for a person who likes desert smells and incense now, I'm not sure this actually has sage in it, but it has that kind of feel. It has that herbal but dry of the desert. Um, this is Tom Ford's um, Sahara Noir. This is like a little decant bottle, and it's unfortunately no longer being made, but it's incredible, and I couldn't talk about reset without this. I absolutely love it, and it especially makes me feel reset when it's hot as you know what. Like, it dries me down, for real. It's wonderful. And last in, um, actually just a few more in this category of kind of like reset or herbal protective scents. This is Solstice Scents Estate Lavender. This is the lavender for me. It has, it smells, I always say like it's right between, so at, I feel like lavender, some types or the way it's represented perfume can smell very, very herbal, very aromatic, almost, um, not complex, uh, yeah, very much about the garden. I like that. Um, then there's an interpretation of lavender and some types of lavender that smell much more like lavender candy almost, like sweet. This is right in the middle. And it has this tea-like quality to me too. I'm not sure if there's tea in this. I should have looked up the notes actually, but I have been wearing this like crazy since I bought it just a few months ago. And it's just one that I can't stop wearing. It makes me feel so good. 
and that lavender quality, I do think it reminds me of the outdoors of the garden. And there's something about it that just, it literally makes me feel like brighten. It like brightens my mind. I, I spray it around me and I go, oh, like it, it is so nice. Having said that, I also sometimes wear this to bed because again, it feels like a reset. I absolutely love it. So this is Estate Lavender by Solstice Scents. And uh, let's see, two more of that. Okay, these are, these smell so much like the garden. I don't think they're for everybody, but boy, does this person love them. Um, this is a, a love of a lot of people. It's been around for a long time. This is Diptyque's Lombre Don Lo. So this is essentially shadow in the water. It's supposed to be smelling like black currant and black currant leaf, which to me smells exactly like tomato leaf with a little rose. And then it smells like water too, but uh, mostly, I mean, you get all those elements if you really sit here and think about it. But what I get mostly is this spicy, incensey tomato leaf and it just goes, it, it makes me go, ooh, garden. Like I literally feel like I'm in the garden when I wear it. So this is Diptyque's Lombre Don Lo, love it. it. Makes me feel really safe and of the earth. This is about as of the earth and as of the water as you can get. This is by Beaufort London, which is a, a house I feel like doesn't get talked about a lot. And I don't think this scent thrilled a lot of people. I am, I beg to differ. This thing is fantastic. This is called Fathom Five. This is about fathoms within the water of the sea. And this is essentially, I believe, this is almost a morose kind of concept where it's about Fathom Five. I them. So essentially when something's being pulled into the sea bottom, probably right before it's the last fathom one that I would think it means death and decay. So this smells, now you think it would all be about water based on its name. This somewhat like Lombre Don is to me as it's as much green as it is about water and, and fathoms and it's about Lily. So to me, I think this is about death weirdly and to this old goth girl, this is comforting because it smells so much like the garden and the water. So to me, it smells like, and because it has a lily feel, it smells like spring and greens. And this is about the greenest thing you can wear and I absolutely love it. So Beaufort London's Fathom 5 for reset. Smelling like the garden. Okay, I have a few more. These to me smell either like water or soap and that's why they're protective or comforting to me. Um, let's see. This is a girl on that doesn't get talked about a lot when it does. Again, I don't think a lot of people love it. Although a few of us, um, my friend Florian has really grown to love this. This is one of the Le, P Le Petite robe, uh, flankers. And this is the Outfresh that if you're looking for this, it still can be found really affordably from what I remember, like in the $30, $40 range. And I think these are originally like $150. This is the um, little black dress line, but this is the Eau Fresh, and it's the green one that you wanna look for, the green juice. And it's, to me, smells like pistachio soap. It smells like soap, but it's got that hint of that gourmand pistachio, but it makes me feel clean. It is strong, it's probably not for everybody. I think it's hard to find pistachio perfumes too, so it's great that way, but I think what makes me feel comforted or protected is it smells like soap. I feel like a reset and, but yet it's perfumey too. Um, and, uh, yeah, I think it's just fantastic and it feels clean and like I, um, can start with a clean slate. This is one of those really uplifting scents, but it's got a bit of a soapy feel, but smells like ginger ale and it is called ginger ale. This is by a house. It is, I don't know, in and out of production. I don't think they're making this anymore, but it's ganache parfum. And when I learned that they were closing, uh, I don't know, um, certain productions a few years ago, I scoured the internet and I found another bottle because I went through this half bottle within two summers and it just smells like a combination of ginger ale and soap and it just makes me feel um, clean, makes my soul feel clean. So ginger ale by Ganache Parfum. Um, this is an oldie but a goodie and one that will never leave my collection. It is my my best friend's, 
one of her top three signature scents and it has been my signature scent at times. It has become a signature scent for two people that I've shared it with. Um, my sister Dawn really loves it too. This is Sarah Jessica Parker's Lovely. Why do I think it smells protective? Because I think it smells like water. I know that's weird. Does water have a scent? It's debatable. This smells to me like I'm wearing the nicest musk in the lake. Weird, I know. And it's just one of those scents that it smells faint when you put it on, but every time I wear it, I get compliments. And people who think they don't like musk or don't think they like aquatic scents, it's funny. Some of those same people have even complimented me when I'm wearing this. It's just, it does it for me. I don't know. It smells, um, yeah, it's, I'm a water person. I'm a cancer. And I just, my parents had me in water when I was a kid taking swimming lessons. I almost became a um, lifeguard at one point, And I just, I love being in water more than anything. And I often wear this when I go to the pool or the lake or the ocean. I absolutely love it. Sarah Jessica Parker's lovely makes me feel protected and like myself. Um, and I'm going to end with two on kind of really like opposite ends of the range here. One is a, another Bath and Body Works scent. It's called Firecracker Pop. It is, of course, made to smell like a um, bomb pop or red, white, and blue pop. So it's got that lemon, that cherry, that candiness. But weirdly, it also smells a little aquatic to me. And I just kind of like Sarah Jessica Parker's Lovely. I find myself wearing this all the time the last summer when I was going to the water or when I was really, really hot and it just makes me feel clean and fresh and for some reason does something for my psyche. I don't know, friends. Why do we like what we like? I love this thing. Dirt cheap, super great. Firecracker pop by Bath and Body Works. And then I'm gonna end with something that was made for me, but I just think it's worth talking about and considering if you'd like a scent that you think feels protective or feels like you. There is a house in Cleveland um, the wonderful proprietor, um, her, she goes by Yates Perfumery and, um, she has workshops where you can go in and she brings out all these essential oils and all these components and you can make a scent. She also on occasion will make kind of a haute scent for you. And one year as a holiday gift, I not only had her make me a scent, but I had her make three of my best friends, um, signature scents based on notes I, that, that I knew they liked. And so this you can see says Yates Perfumes Amy. And in my case, and the reason it makes feels like protection for me is first, this is made for me and only me and it only smells like me. <laughs> but in my case, it has a lot of tomato leaf in it, which again makes me feel like the garden and a reset. It has incense and it has lemon and Oh my gosh, this thing, it just makes me feel so special and it makes me feel again like I have, like I'm literally carrying a garden with me. And I know it was made only for me, which is a really special feeling. So this is a, a scent that was made for me by Yates Perfumery in uh, Lakewood, Ohio. Seek them out, by the way, they're incredible. So those are 25 cents that I wear when I wanna feel protected. I would love to hear from you. Have you ever um, worn perfumes for protection? Are there certain ones that you go to? And what type of protection do they give you? I would love to hear. Um, for those of you who are challenged, let's say, emotionally or with anything from grief to depression to seasonal depression this time of year, I'm with you. I care for you. Stay strong. And um, I would love to know if there are scents that help you through this. Cheers. Have a great day. Bye.